Where's Waldo? Waldo kills you. Edition. I went to a public library, looking for Where's Waldo books. I love those so much, they used to be one of my favorites. When I got to the shelves that held the books, I saw, to my dismay, that all of the Waldo books were apparently checked out. I went to the librarian and I asked if she could find one for me that wasn't checked out, and she said that there was one book left. She had a worried look on her face, but changed it quick as I noticed it. She pulled it out of a locked safe and appeared to be relieved when she gave it to me, and when I questioned why the book was called Waldo Kills You Edition, she waved it off and said that some kids vandalized the book when it was on the shelves. I truck it off too and laughed, but when she didn't laugh with me, I added my thanks and left. As soon as I got home, I turned my lamp on and sat on my bed. I opened it up and the first page had an image of Waldo, but he didn't look like his normal self. Waldo looked as if he were going to cry, but at the same time, he looked insanely happy. I turned the next page and it showed a satellite view of my town. A sentence was on the page in big bold letters. Where's Waldo? He's in your town. I wondered why Waldo would be visiting my town in particular, because there wasn't anything really special about it. At least, not for a person to use it in a Waldo book. I mean, seriously. I turned to the next page. It showed a bird's eye view of my block. Where's Waldo? He's on your block. So, Waldo wanted to come to this neighborhood too, of all neighborhoods in this town. I thought that was cool, how my house was in a picture book. I turned the page again. My street was clearly visible, with my house just in view. Where's Waldo? He's on your street. What? Is Waldo coming to my house? I was laughing so hard at this dumb book. I turned the page once more. My front door was huge on the two pages it spanned. Every detail was perfect. Even the baseball that my friend left out there just yesterday. Where's Waldo? He's at your door. Instantly. At that moment, I heard a loud knocking at my very own door in real life. I actually jumped in fear, but it could be anybody. Just a coincidence, I thought. Probably just Mark, coming over for his lawnmower. I still kept a book on that page as I slowly approached my front door. I could see out the window, and nobody was there. I reached the door and opened it very slowly, peeking out, expecting something to get me. Nothing. I stared around outside. Shrugging, I turned the page. My kitchen was as brightly lit as ever, sharing my fridge, for the most part. Where's Waldo? He's in your refrigerator. I dashed quickly to my kitchen, not before I slammed my front door. My fridge was open, and there were condiments, sandwich items, and pickles all over the floor. It was a mess. I was actually pretty freaked out. I flipped it to the very last page of the book before it was over. It showed me exactly how I was standing, with my back facing the book's pages. I could not turn around for fear. This is what the page said. Guess where Wardo is now?